It's Friday, fool, and you need this tool. Welcome back to another glorious episode of It's Friday, Fool, You Need This Tool. My name is Kyle Voss, and on Fridays, I bring you a tool. A tool that I use here in this shop, or that I have featured on this channel. Oh, man. So, this week, what do I have for you this week? Well, you already know, because you've seen the thumbnail, and you've seen the title. It's good, though. I'm just glad to have you guys back. Glad to be back on Fridays, at least for a couple of weeks, till I run out some more tools. If you have a tool, drop it in the comment section. Try to keep this train a rolling. It's gotta be, it's gotta be kind of a legit tool though. So if you guys are in the air conditioning, doing duct work, you're gonna be very familiar with this tool. Or this tool is also used in the aircraft industry, usually. Um, not like major aircraft, more of like um, home home gamers. Is that even a is that even a thing? Home gamer aircraft. Anyway, like the smaller aircraft or the aircraft building on a smaller level. You're probably gonna know what these are too. These are used widely in that industry. Not so much used in the automotive industry, but they are very useful. And I don't see why they're not used. Maybe they are used. I don't know. Anyway, that is the hand seamer, seamer, seamer tool, hand seamer tool. What the hell is this thing really called, let's see. Yeah, the hand seamer. So, ham, se ham seamer, the hand seamer, these things come in like, anywhere from like three to six inches wide, and they're made for basically bending sheet metal. Now, in the HVAC industry, these things are used to like bend and close seams, I've seen these things used in metal roofing industry. Uh, as I mentioned, some of the aircraft building um, folks use these to do some of the rib wings and, and whatever. And the basic function of these is basically like a miniature sheet metal break, right? So you could take, oh, who remembers this thing? Side note. So I did a shark hide video a long time ago and this was like a little test piece and I still get people asking me about this, how it turned out, what it is. Basically, I just covered up the metal, shark with a sticker, shark hide the rest, and then left it outside for like four months. See how much it was gonna rust. Anyway, I digress. This thing's made basically to take, you can take and clamp sheet metal like this and either straighten it, bend it, and you can bend it over. Now, it's not really made to replace, say, a sheet metal break. Um, although you can do long bends with this. You can just kind of do small sections at a time. You can actually use this thing to flatten out sections that might have like a little wrinkle or a ripple in it. And I've seen guys on small gauge sheet metal literally bend or break a whole, a whole edge with one of these. It's not really what I use it for. Uh, I mean, I've got a sheet metal break. Now you could probably get away with some some of these if you had, a, say, a three inch and a six inch. You could probably do a good bit of sheet metal work with it uh, to get you by. What I like to do with this is actually touching up stuff. So for instance, you got a panel, you're not exactly sure what degree of bend it needs. You kind of bend it close. Uh, it could be a large flange or a small flange. You get it over to the car and you're kind of test fitting it and it's just like one or two degrees off one way or the other. It's either too much or not enough. You can take these hand seamers, you can kind of massage that bend just a little bit the way that it needs to be. You can get the thing to fit in the car the way that it's supposed to. Um, and yeah, the great thing too is you can kind of undo some stuff. So say if you bend something beyond what it's supposed to be, you can use this to kind of undo it. Can't really do that in a sheet metal break. And like I showed you, this thing's really easy. You just take, like, see this edge here? I don't know, what is that, like a 45 degree bend? You could just take this, 
put it right on the table. Give it the old benderoo. Now you got what, a 90 degree angle there. It's also got a locking mechanism so you can actually clamp this thing. It's not gonna clamp it super tight, but it's gonna keep it closed. You can kind of work that however you need to. Now this is, so this is probably, I don't know, 22 gauge mild steel, which is really around what it's designed to do. Um, maybe you could do just a little bit thicker. It's actually really designed to do stuff that's thinner. Now this is 063 aluminum, 3003 aluminum. So this is pretty stout stuff and it actually gets the job done within reason. So there you go. This one made, is made by Wiss. I'm assuming that's how you say it, Wiss. Hand seamer by Wiss, I believe this is a two inch, two and a half inch, maybe three inch. Maybe it's a three inch. It's the only one I've got. I'll probably end up buying a six inch one at some point. And these things run around anywhere from a little over 20 bucks to $30, not terribly expensive. If you guys want to check some of these out, I'll drop you a link in the description as I always do. I don't know, maybe some of you guys can use these. Don't have room, don't have space for a sheet metal break. Don't do that much breaking of sheet metal. Uh, or just not looking to make that kind of investment yet, you can go buy a couple of these. It's gonna help you get that job done without having a sheet metal break. All right guys, there you go. This week's tool, the Hand Seamer by Wiss. There's other brands, I think there's Crescent that makes one. There's several brands, any of them will do. It's not the fanciest of tools. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. It's Friday, fool.